Congratulations on your engagement and welcome home. Hopefully, as we track Hurricane ICS, this is not going to be an issue for you and for most of South Carolina. We did indicate that the wind speed is sustained at 80 miles an hour, but they are gusting at 100 miles an hour as it continues to move northwest at 15 miles an hour. Now, we showed you the track. The track really hasn't changed that much. It's still expected to roll along the east coast of Florida and then through Georgia and possibly into the areas around South Carolina or even make landfall in the Grand Strand or in the areas of Myrtle Beach, uh, rather Wilmington, North Carolina. But here's the interesting thing. Some of the models are indicating already a landfall in Key Largo going up the spine of Florida, while some models still keep it off the coast. And as it continues through, the ones that actually show already a landfall come back out of Jacksonville Beach and then continue through the Atlantic while the other ones are continuing the Atlantic. But the guidance still suggests that we may be looking at a possible, it's going to change, but a possible landfall anywhere from the low country to the Grand Strand and possibly into the areas around Top Sail Beach, North Carolina. That's why the National Hurricane Center still has the cone of uncertainty going through the Midlands all the way off the coast and then well off into the Atlantic. This is what we're hoping, that it's going to be well off the Atlantic. And the one thing that we have noticed is that the water temperatures, as the hurricane continues to move through, are very, very warm. And that's indicative of how much intensity it continues to go. Now, the good thing is that any forecast for hurricane winds is negligible. Tropical storm winds, that's a different story. It's mostly along the coastline of South Carolina, where from Myrtle Beach to maybe Hilton Head, a one in three chance we could experience 40 plus mile an hour sustained winds. But notice, as you get to the eastern Midlands, it drops off into the teens. While you get into Columbia, only a 10% chance it may see 40 mile an hour winds. It may be windy, but we're not looking at this time tropical storm force winds. Now, as we continue the potential track of Hurricane Isais, we're looking at tropical storm winds affecting southeast Florida, probably about five o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday, but into the early morning on Sunday, they may experience hurricane force winds. And as it continues to move through, Monday noon, we could be looking at tropical storm force winds along the low country, and then even stronger winds as it makes its way up into the Grand Strand. So definitely something we're gonna be watching for them.